Hey y'all, what's up? You know what time it is. It's another episode of Notable Prisons and the people that may be inmates occupying them. We had to switch it up. So what I'm gonna need y'all to do is get your lighters ready. Get them, get them. Uh, I ain't even gonna lie. I don't even have a lighter right now. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, there we go. Get, get your lighters ready. Because this is about to be one interesting episode. So as y'all may know, Diddy is in the headlines right now for all the various charges that he's been charged with. Rather, it's the charge with Cassie or the charges with Lil Rod or all the unnamed assailants. Now, uh, not assailants, but uh, people that are accusing him of these crimes. As y'all may know, his may have had his he had his uh, mansion in L.A. rated, which is like a 50 million dollar mansion. It's bigger than the White House. Like, you know, it, it, it it's crazy to see, like, how some of these, like, top celebrities are really living. Like, I always knew dude had mad pape, but I didn't think he was living like that. And then his mansion in Star Island was also rated. You know, um, it's crazy. But um, this video, I'm uploading. I'm giving you guys all the current videos. I even have footage of his uh, house being rated as well, courtesy to um, TMZ. And it's crazy because a part of me wants to say, was did he a dirty ass motherfucker, <laughs> or did he just have so much shit that when they raided him, they just started like, um, like throwing stuff everywhere? Like I don't know, but um, but um, as you guys can see here, it's a this is a very unfortunate situation. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, I feel for the people that are alleging these crimes because, you know, sex crimes and any of that type of stuff is not tolerated at all. You know what I'm saying? I think it's weak as hell. And um, just you know, a little backstory. You know, I've been dealing with my, my own little fair share of stress and whatnot over these past like three months. And I'm just like, man, but I'm not going to lie. When I seen all this shit on the TV the other day, it kind of like lifted off of me because I'm like, look. I may be dealing with something, but this dude is dealing with something. You know what I mean? Like, shit, I lost my dog. My one, I have two dogs. My one dog killed my other dog. Then my BM for seven years, we kind of like split up. So this is like, that's just been weighing on me. But seeing this, I'm like, you know what? It's not the end of the world. It's going to get better, right? That's what I tell myself. And that's what anyone should also tell yourself. They're going through some shit. Look at Diddy right now. Think about what he's going through. The man gave up all his companies. He's probably going to forfeit all his houses to his children or something. Like, he got a whole lot going on. Now, as you guys can see from this video from inside his house, like I said, I think, honestly, I really think Diddy is a messy ass motherfucker because it's like, where could you store all this stuff, right? I mean, yeah, you could put all that stuff in cabinets. What do we got over here? We got some like little gift boxes. Oh, he got a little stuffed animal right there. Oh man, Ted, not Ted. Oh, don't tell me Ted's part of it. Come on now. I know Ted, Ted, Ted ain't going for it. I don't believe Ted would have went for it. Ted would have stubbed and, and punched get, uh, Diddy out. It's a big safe with nothing really in it. Probably some jewelry in those boxes. Oh, I see that he started maybe dumping out bags right there. As you can see, he has his little shoes all over the place. He has a nice shoe collection. Happy Father's Day. That's cool. My daughter's maybe one of those. Junk drawers. We all got junk drawers at the crib. There were drawers with absolutely nothing in it but junk. What do we got down there? We got some Dunks. We got like some Vans. We got some Travises. We got some... McQueen, some forces. We got hella heels, hella sandals and slides. Shout out to the women with pretty feet wearing them. Chrome hearts in there that he never got the chance to wear. Oh, some Como de Garçon shoes. He got some damn, some, some Jordans down there. Um, what are those? Those ain't the three. Those aren't the fours. Those are the, uh, what are those? Like the threes or something? Fives or some shit? I don't know. Uh, you know, he got his whole little random miscellaneous stuff in his drawer. Damn, that's a big room. That's that's a fat room. Like he has a room, and he has like a little couch area over there. You know, that's where I would get hanky panky at. You know, I wouldn't even probably use the bed. Well, actually, I would. I would just rotate all around. But anyways, yeah, more junk. You know, one of my buddies, um, I'm like one of my best friends, right? His brother is a celebrity, a big celebrity with um 
with a lot of kids. But anyways, when you go to their houses, it's amazing how many boxes you see of just stuff that people just give them. And they don't be having time to put all this stuff away. Like, you'll walk in there, you see hella boxes of a lot of merch. And then a lot of the times, they'll just be like, hey, you could just take this. You could take this. Like, I have a, um, no pun intended. I've seen a meme where someone uh, posted a picture of Diddy and uh, with someone else or something. And the caption read, take it, take it, or take that, take that, or something. I was like, oh, my God, the internet is undefeated. Or the other one, i seen another meme with his plane or something. And it was like, bad boy, come out and play. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, bro. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. This is a very interesting thing. I'm just curious to see how it's all going to unfold. And I honestly believe if Diddy's guilty of all these charges and all this goes through with this, that, and the third, I I wouldn't be surprised if they put him in like, Maybe uh, Supermax or possibly uh, maybe like a, 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 the spot they had Michael Frenzy set. But I don't know. You never know because he's a high profile person, you know, and they're going to want to keep the guy safe. So I could see them putting him, putting him at ADX Florence. I mean, you can't rule it out completely. I mean, yeah, sure. You guys could. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know something in the comments. Appreciate y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more updates on Surviving Diddy Part 1.